Alright guys, welcome back to hopefully the last video and basically what I'm going to be teaching you guys is now that we got the images, the URL that they came from, we need to go ahead and save the picture on our server. So the first thing that we need to do is actually, we don't even need to echo this out anymore because what we're going to be doing is actually we can go ahead and echo it out still just so the user has something to look at, some visual proof that we did connect to Instagram and got their photos. But what I want to do is I want to make a function called save picture and that is going to do everything that I just said and of course what we want to do is we want to save one picture at a time this image URL because remember this is looping through image by image so for every single image we're going to call this function save picture basically save them one at a time so we'll just uh, I don't know why I capitalized that P Let's make the function right now, and of course the function name is save picture. Like that. And if you double click this, you can see that they do match, so we're good to go. And also we need to pass it in the image URL. And the cool thing about this is that we don't need to connect to the API to do this since we already got the URL of the image itself. So the first thing that I actually want to do is just echo out the image URL and I want to append it with a break because I want to show you guys exactly what's going on here. So the image URL is going to be this. It's going to be this right here. So that's what that first variable is, this long string and that's stored in this variable right here. So after that, what I want to do is I am only interested in this piece of information and this is called the base name. So this is the image URL and whenever you get the base name of a file, it's pretty much the file name. Simple enough. So the file name, that's what my variable is going to call that I'm going to set it equal to and that's what most people commonly uh, call it but PHP you gotta say base name of that image URL and the reason that I wanna even get this is because the file name is what I'm gonna be storing in my database or in my you know um, either on my server or my MySQL database instead of this whole long thing I just want this little unique piece so that's why I got that and we can actually echo this out too so I can show you guys what it is. So pretty much what's going to happen is it's going to loop through all five pictures and then it's going to print the picture and then it's going to break and on new line it's going to print the whole URL and then just the file name. Make sure you only use one dollar sign. Alright now after we print out the file name I'm just going to put this is where you want to just go ahead and do your verification so make sure that image doesn't database yet so basically what I'm gonna be doing in Bucky's room at least is allowing users to connect to their Instagram download all pictures and save them on their Bucky's room profile but what if they run this a hundred times well they're gonna have a hundred sets of the same pictures so this line right here what you typically would want to do is query um, your database and make sure alright if this file name exists already then don't save this image if it doesn't yet then go ahead and save it so that's what we're gonna be doing and well I'm not gonna be doing it but I just want to show you guys that depending on how your database is set up that's where you put the code so now that we got the name that we want to save and the URL of the image that we want to save what we need to do is we need to set a destination path where on our server do we want to store these images well the destination of this is just equal to remember our image directory which is basically saying we want to store it in the pix folder and we can append that with the file name so what it's basically going to be doing is saying, okay, so this is where we're going to get it from, store this file, and it's going to be called this in PIX. And I'll actually just show you guys right now. And that's uh, why it says this is because 
if you try to refresh the page using the same code over and over again it won't work because that code expires but anyways if we look at pics right now we can see that there are indeed no images in it so how do we put images in it well what we need to do is we actually need to use one last function and that's file put contents and this, this is actually probably my uh, favorite little function because what this does is it goes and it grabs um, a file an image file from somewhere on the internet and it stores it in your database or excuse me on your server in one line of code so the first thing you need to write is okay whenever we get something where do you want to store it store it right there and also what contents do you want well if we do file get contents of this image URL this is what it's going to do it first says okay go ahead and grab everything at this um, URL which is basically grab the image now go ahead and take that image file and save it as a JPEG in this um, directory which is pix so that's what file put contents does it pretty much moves images from one place to another place on the internet so now if we save this remember I'm gonna refresh this so you guys see that nothing is in this pix folder now hopefully we didn't mess anything up so this is basically how our program is gonna work so we go to the main home page which is index PHP we let the users log in they click log in usually a little pop-up would appear but it didn't because I'm already logged in and then it didn't print out that other stuff because and now it didn't save because I messed something up one second and I am officially <laughs> an idiot I'm looking for a freaking how long did it take me like two minutes at least I'm looking for a bug but the reason it didn't work is because I didn't even update the stupid freaking script on my website yet okay so that's embarrassing I probably should have just edited that out but uh, <laughs> alright so let's go ahead and verify one more time that there are no pics in there and if we go to index.php alright now we click login usually the user would have to sign in but they didn't and check it out what it did is it's looping through all of my um, Instagram pictures and it's saying okay this is the picture this is the original URL and this is the URL that you are now saving on your server and we can verify that they are indeed saved on our server by going to pics hitting enter and check it out all of these files are now on my website pretty stinking awesome so how sweet is that congratulations guys you now know how to make an Instagram downloader and of course there are a bunch of improvements that you can make to this um, the first thing that I would is security um, but other than that I mean it's fully functional do with it what you want so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and also like I said I'm gonna be posting all of the source code in my forum under the PHP section and if you guys have any uh, questions about anything or if you wanna make some improvements and repost them build on it then you're welcome to do that so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time